Hello class, uh, I thought I would make another video to explain how to do the lab conclusion that I mentioned to you yesterday in class. So what I have on the screen right now is I pulled data, a data table from one of the groups that um, had submitted this to the Google Drive. Um, and as you can see, it, it should very much look like the data that you collected with your simulation as well. So to start off with, this is the, the observations that we made from that. Now we want to take that to the next step and then write a conclusion for the lab. So what I've created is a conclusion template for you to fill out. Now what I want to do in this video is kind of explain what I'm looking for and how to fill this out. So the first thing listed here is a beginning question. Now we didn't really talk about this before um, we did the lab, and as we start moving into more and more labs in the class, this is mm -hmm. something that is important for you to understand. And what the beginning question really does is helps drive the purpose of the lab and why we're actually doing it. So because we didn't really talk about that before, um, I'm going to give you that question. So I want you to write this down in a template um, as I type it up here. So the question is, are there differences and similarities between covalent and ionic bonds. Now, you can probably answer that question based off of what we've talked about already. But what we're going to do is we're going to practice in writing this conclusion. We're going to practice making a claim and then backing that up with evidence. And the evidence is going to be information that you pull from the lab that you did, the data that you collected. In this next section, the test, the procedures, I'm not looking for a detailed step one, step two, step three, but this is an overview of what you did in the lab. Okay, so a description of the tests that you did, the information that you looked up, and that's what I'm looking for there, just a kind of a brief summary of what that is. Okay, data. I have quantitative typed here, and the quantitative is any measurements that you took, or in this case, or that you looked up. Okay, so I want you to do qualitative, and that really is reflective in your data table. Okay, and the other is qualitative. Is what did you see happen? Okay. Um, with this, I want you to make sure that you include what you observed in that micro tab in the simulation. And remember, the micro tab helped you look at when you dissolved the sugar and when you dissolved the salt into the water. What did you notice happening to the atoms as they um, were dropped in? So it's what you saw throughout the, the lab. Now your claims, okay, this is, what, what I want to do with the claim is take a look at that beginning question. Are there differences and similarities between covalent and ionic bonds? So you'll want to make a claim of whether, you, whether or not there are differences and similarities between them. So that is the claim. The evidence then, this is where you're going to be pulling specifically from the data table um, and your qualitative observations of what evidence you're using to explain that there are differences, okay, or similarities between covalent and ionic bond. Now, this might be a new thing for you in terms of how to read this in the conclusion, so this is what we're going to work through a little bit um, as to what is the evidence that you're looking for, okay? I'll give you one example. Let's say that you make the claim um, that there is a difference in melting points between covalent and ionic bonding. The evidence that you will use, okay, so let's write that in there. There is a difference between the melting points of ionic covalent bonds. So that would be your claim evidences then you want to then list specific 
melting points as an example. Okay, so those match up, you make a claim and then you back that up with evidence. So what I'm going to be looking for here is that you um, are going through that thought process of whenever you make a claim, that you're backing that up with evidence. Um, in the discussion okay, section, okay, this is basically answering the question, how have your ideas changed because of the lab? Or another way of asking is, what have you learned? And then what other questions do you have? So as we go through, and if you fill this in and you go through each of these steps, um, you're going to be completing the lab conclusion that I've asked you to do. Now, this is practice. We're going to be doing more and more labs and more and more lab conclusions. So this is definitely a process. Um, but it, we're going to follow the same type of procedure as we finish up a lab. I want you to practice making those claims, what we learned from it, and backing that up with evidence. Um, enjoy and I will be around to help you with this and feel free to watch this later on if you have questions um, if you're working on this at home. Thank you very much.